Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Yishien, the auto-battling deck builder that has consumed my thoughts and my mind. We are going to be popping on in with Zhang Shi Ming here in the Heptastar Pavilion. A faction that, honestly, I don't feel like I've really got a handle on yet. I don't know. Five elements, I feel like I've started to grasp it a bit more. People say it's the most complex. I think it's the toughest to start with, but then afterwards, I think... I think this one becomes harder, personally. Unless you're trying to, like, dual-type deck or something. Uh, do something really janky. But this one's it's just kind of... I don't know. It's an interesting little uh, diversion. That was a quick quick search there. Uh, hold on. What do we got to do? Star power, I don't have... I mean, I could just do this. I don't like it. Get the chi and the hexagram. Guarantee we do the damage. Ay ay ay. Do we roll for something? Sure. Guaranteed 13. I'll take it. Guaranteed 13 damage, and then we do 6 damage and roll a die for 1 to one to 10 uh, defense. I'll take it. It should be enough to win first round, especially since we trashed all our cards. So we'll go first. I would assume that we have this. Okay. Decent roll, not the best roll, but above average. All right, we do win. Good. Good, 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 good. And now what the hell do we do? I think I'll, I think I'll do a little, little fulu. Been a bit, I'd say. She, the, I mean, we could do the defense seven just to keep a tight, a tight deck since we have these all upgraded. I'm fine with that. Keep herself at uh, high cultivation. High cultivation, and then this is just. I'm running this card at kind of a deficit so that we can keep uh, looping through only upgraded cards. Seems like a logical thing. But yeah, this character gets uh, one more cultivation at the beginning of the game, and they draw one more card and get one less cultivation at the end of every round. So basically, everyone slowly gets a little bit more cultivation, but we get a card, we get a card and one less, meaning that we can trash that card for the cultivation if we want, but it's also just a little bit more options. But it's also a little bit more overwhelming at the same time, you know? Okay. Uh, we were never going to full block that. Womp. I mean, we could. We could, theoretically. Not not right now, but... Uh, same idea? Just keep things tight? I don't mind that. Draw an ass remove card, 4 HP. Whenever you add hexagram, add a star power. Sure. So whenever we add this, we get uh, star power. Makes it, makes it so star point cards. The card here and the card here. And hidden here. They get one more damage on their face. So this would be 5 damage times 2. I could have kept that and slotted it there, but I just think it's a pretty eh card. And I kind of want to... The reason I'm doing this like kind of tight thing where I, I it feels awkward but the reason I'm running it this way is if I can hold on to rerolls until I think this faction really likes it uh reroll saved until like purple you know purple or maybe gold is is truthfully like how long we might need to hold on to things and just play best board um because, I don't know, unless I'm, if you're running um, stall comp, you can do that at blue, I think. I think that's, or no, maybe you do it at green, wherever Dharma. I think it's at green, actually. But this character, he's, he's weird in the sense that he doesn't do anything that much better than anyone else in the faction. He just does it slightly more reliably. Oof, we actually almost uh, got bodied there. 
Hexagram 3, opponent loses 2 max HP. Uh, I do kind of want to run that like continuous Hexagram deck. That sounds fun to me. Do we have Chi? We do have Chi. Do we have enough Hexagram? We do not. The next upgrade of this gives us the extra hex Hexagram. Well, there we go. What are we trying to defend? Who freaking knows? Actually, I probably would rather defend back here. But yeah, we get one star power, so we want our, our multi-hit cards to be on the star points. Hello there. Kitty Cat, Tony the Tiger. Uh, you already have the Metal Spirit formation. I can fast forward 20 rounds and see exactly what's coming our way. Oh my, oh my. Get ready for it, Lobby. Holy hell, these rolls are so good. I do win because I get to go first, which is why cultivation is so important this early, especially if you're just trying to run best board. I don't, I can't run another consumption, and I, none of these cards are good runs. I'm doing something silly. Yep. I just know that this card is coming out. So, it works okay. So it's 8 damage if you have star power, do an, another attack. I'm going to eventually combine these. But I, that was literally just a... Um, this feels like such an awkward pivot point that I feel like I need that guaranteed card that I know we get as this character, Starburst. It's a, it's a pretty reliable damage card. Like, 16 damage here does 8 damage here. If I combine them, it does 20 on the same card. I wish we had one more star power, so that's something I'll maybe look for for early on, if we're going to be running them split. Dark Starvat is good at around this point in the game. Yeah, it's like, it's really good at this point in the game. Look at, oh, but if not, they don't hit. Interesting. We were running a very interesting deck here. But it's it's not bad. Like, if that would have kept going, I think they maybe would have won the long-term play. I don't want to run Revitalize. I'm not running that. I don't think we're making it through a second loop, especially not if we put that there. Which makes this better. If we're playing long, a long game. Oh, they're running Kindness soon. That's nice. Thank you. But yeah, running these two, it's not great. I just, they're better than other cards because they do a fine amount of damage and they don't require Chi and they don't require Hexagram. They just kind of require Star Power. And even if they don't, eight damage on a neutral face card is... It's fine. It's like a... It's, it's, like, it's okay. You know? It's, it's like a pretty good card. It's a really good card for right away. And for about this point of the game, it's, it's fine. It's going to get scaled out, but that's why we'll combine it. Ironically, I don't know if we beat this person, even though they're running Kindness Tune. So they may just be helping me. Okay. Uh, we do. It's close, though. It's pretty close. It's also really weird to run Kindness Tune on that character. That character gets stronger when they knock people out. G2D2. Oh, oh no! Alright, well, we've, we've got second place. At best, already. 
I don't know what I'm looking for, so we shouldn't really be rolling. Is there a point in removing chi from them? Yeah, there is. I think it's worth. We can find something better. Plus, we're going to maybe break into the next zone. In which we have a card lined up for us, I think. Purple. No! Wait, yes! Wait, no! Wait, I can't remember. Did we, did we want to go first? I think we did, right? Did I... I can't remember if I positioned correctly for this. We want to see the chi generate. Okay, good. All right, it is worth it then. It's a, it's a, it's a big, like, risk because I gain nothing from that card. So it's literally just, if I hit, I can make him skip one turn. Because since I have no value from the card myself, it did make the difference though. Uh, okay. Return hexagram. I can. I am not actually going to make it unless I trashed four again. Do I do it? Hep the star soul stat? Yeah. Um. Please tell me you use Chi. You do! Thank God, I needed something else here. Okay, so hold on. Who goes first? It will definitely be me. So we need it right here. Alright, and then we're going to roll down like crazy next turn. I think? Looking for what? With what we have lined up, we actually do have some really good trappings for that continuous... Whenever you gain hexagram, do damage card. Oh, you have more than enough chi. I don't know why I even bothered. Oh my god. Please tell me you need that other chi still. You did. Thank you. I don't know if we make it. We do. Oof. Okay, so roll down looking for, yeah, things that kind of fit into that hexagram damage archetype. I know, like, a little bit of hexagram is tempting. Um. Um. I actually am not going to be keeping that. For those counting at home, we are failing the, uh, the roll. I kind of want to keep these separate. Exhaust, Hexagram, Star Power, Chi. There's definitely a world where we play that. Uh, there is no world where this matters. So let's just guarantee do nine... They could pull ahead of me here. I, that's fine. If they pull ahead of me, they pull ahead of me. That's fine. I do love seeing Tony the Tiger down at 64 health. That that means a lot. We need to knock him down now before he hits his unstoppable Infina loop. Because he, he's going to be hitting the gold um, ring. I'd only do nine or six. I hate you. I hate you, game. Sometimes, man. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Hexagram into star power is just not that good right now. Unless, like, if I get a triple hit... 
I could maybe do something with that. This is fine. Okay, there's a triple hit. It's kind of something. It's kind of sort of something. If we combine... It's risky, but... I think we want to go boom, bang, boom. It's okay. It's a little bit goofy, but we're trying to pivot all of that hexagram into star power uh, for, I guess, Astro Move Tiger. Yeah. It's just not good enough yet. We get our two hexagram back and turn it into this. We, we don't have it yet. It's a slow pivot. Oh, well, gee, what are you setting up for? Oh, gee. I wonder if you got uh, a little special special hit. Oh, well, you don't actually get to make it because I have scaling. That actually was really good on loop through. Okay, so this... I was going to say this is better, but now, like, on... No, I think that is better. I'll do that right now. I'm just running that empty because it's kind of like... It's kind of nice that I don't... Ah, maybe I should have kept that. It's nice that I don't have to worry about upgrading a card in that slot, is basically the whole thing. Where's your only traces? Not even... What? How do you have the chi for this? What are you, what's happening with this? I'm so confused. Oh, I ruined everything. We're going to be really good on, on loop through. I ruined everything. That's why you don't make your pivots that late. And... I... Yeah. That was, that was always wrong. That was infinitely... That was always going to be wrong. We ruined everything here. We are, we're one slot off, and it, um, it wrecked it. I might be able to make a loop through. No. No. That was just a... That was just a last-second blunder. Trying too hard to, to be cute. And then I couldn't... I just couldn't fix it in time. Um, I would rather chase here. Or maybe I would rather, like... Chase into the stall? If I do this, I get to break through. Add a stack of hexagram whenever you astral move. I only have one. I only have one astral move. Am I going to have more than one? I mean, I, am I going to make more than one? I don't know if I plan to. I don't need that chi. Actually... Yes. Here's what we do. There we go. Okay. This is something now. Next card triggers twice. I don't have Chi anymore. I could get Chi. Oh, am I so glad to see that lady down at the bottom. 
When you see this this character up top, I feel like you kind of just know that they have like the tightest uh, either fire deck or earth deck, the most, like cleanest one that you can do nothing about that you've ever seen. Okay, we're gonna do good damage. Dance into stall, which I don't. I'm not really not worried about there. Oh, they're doing a world smash deck. Um, shoot. Oh, I. Let me let you in on a little secret. If you're playing a world smash deck. You don't have to put World Smash last. <laughs> like, there's nothing... I know it feels like you're supposed to, but you don't want to do that. Um, I like this a lot. Do I need this hexagram? I like, I like the hexagram. Exhaust hexagram. I can't really run five thunders on that then. Um, mm -hmm. I don't really. Do we need this? It's not inherently much different. It's slower on the first loop, but then afterwards it's not. Yeah, I feel like I want to run five thunders. But I don't know how I. how I can do that. Four hexagram. If we run it there, we could run it there and have it on on loop through. I, but what are the odds that I get to do an entire loop through again? I don't know. I don't think that's very likely. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm... What? I didn't even do that to you. Um, let me live. Okay, maybe? No! 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 You've got to be joshing upon me. I mean, this is what I was looking for this earlier. Do I still run it? Do I still run it? Instead of what? A chase? Extra set. This is so... Too many fingers, too many pies, I think. Chi, hexagram one, if hexagram is greater than or equal to three, then chase. I mean, that's actually really good. I'm going to say I'm no to this at this point. This is really good. And I, it could let me play five thunders. If I removed that... I could remove that to not go for a star power and go for more of the hexagram angle. Like, I could literally just go boom, boom, boom at the end. Because otherwise, what are the odds that I can get... I don't know. Can I get five hexagram before then? But I need the hexagram to get these chases. But if I didn't need the hexagram for the chases, I could run something else. I'm confused. I'm very confused at what I want to do here. This is... They've got a good setup here. Hey. Hey. Alright, this is good. If I can make it... 
One more. Because the thing is, I do have infinite weaken on them, which I really, really like. I don't know. Awkward stuff. Really awkward stuff. Don't want any of that garbage. Chi Chase. Next card triggers twice. Ah, uh, God. This... This is breaking me. Absolutely breaking me. I don't think I'm running this. It's not that it's bad, I'm just not running it. Guard up. Okay. That means we don't get the extra benefits. But it's also taking so long to get that anyways. Two continuous. Astro, we do have Astro Move gives us Chi. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. Very back heavy. Okay, you got you got this card? Okay. I've never been so lucky as to get that card. Oh my god. Okay. Maybe? On loop through? Oh, totally. I have I've never gotten to play that and I am jealous as hell. Okay. What on earth are you doing? It looks terrifying, but I don't get it. Okay, that's just a good find. Oh, it's so far back. But we want the four. Do we really need this? How much hexagram are we using? See, the, my question with this is, does it come from a bank, or is it like, when I loop through, when I go boom, boom, use two, get two back, when I go back through again, do I only get two because I've used two up, or does it give me four back on the second loop? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? I don't have the hexagram for that. I think this is better. Oh god. What have I done? What have I done? I think it works. It's ugly, but I think it I think it works. Yes. Correct. It, the, the, the chase falls apart on loop through. But it helps us get there faster right now. It gives us a seven star power. And we have a lot of chi. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't win this. If I had the setup that... I don't know, but the thing is, like... The fact that those don't chase into each other, it's not inherently a zip problem. Okay, this is nice. That's better. Does this need to be here? It's kind of irrelevant. In fact, no, this is slightly better. Uh, trash, trash, trash. 
I think we're done with this, and we almost don't need this at all. In fact... Give me Chase instead. I think. Or it's, it's, it's not... We're not getting that much out of it anymore. Or maybe even ever. We can't run five thunders. Let's be real with ourselves. We can dupe something, but I don't know what I'd really want to dupe up the front here. I may keep I may keep these. All right, this has been fine. I don't know that I beat this. Oh, I'm fighting the same person again. Okay, well, I am ever so slightly uh, more streamlined. So maybe it makes the difference. Because we do actually get benefit from those as well. weaken. Oh, the extra internal injury. Don't tell me you got another one. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. It's so close. There's just not really much I can do. Unless... Absolutely, I'll take that. I'll keep that on standby. I'm not running this anymore. No. I'm running. I'm fighting you. Both players can't trigger chase. Screw you. a lot. Okay, so hold on. You're going to be going first. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. No, no! Well, we get to skip one turn. Shoot. You go first, don't you? Yeah, you do go first. This sucks. They hard countered me. They hard countered me. Nothing I can do, dude. Yeah, I needed to stop that other chi. The good news is I think I stall them for one turn. Somewhere. Yeah, there. I stall them for one turn, which is actually enough for me to get the, the weaken off. Which may be the difference maker. Who gets to go first? There's no, there's no uh, chase anywhere. It's me, I win. Holy crap. Screw you for making me use my brain. And then I die to you, though. Like, let's be honest. I don't have anything uh, that beats them. And now I need to figure out what I did. Okay, hold on. They're going first. So I need this, this here. Okay. And then that could help. Please let me hit the Spirit Absorb Fulu. I regret trading him away. Uh, skip a card? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we want them to skip. I'm never going first, so... I might as well keep literally everything. I'm never going first. Let's see if they saw my chi removal card and they played accordingly. I do get to stop two of their turn, or one... It, that equates to one turn that I stop, so it's like, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Yeah, 
It just doesn't matter. They they rolled way too well. Like I don't I don't have the ability unfortunately to uh, to stop that. It's just it was way too streamlined of an internal injury deck. Uh, that character, it's, she's playing that character pretty much to, I, I would say, its most effective build. And they rolled well. So getting a clean second to that is pretty darn uh, acceptable in my book. Like that character, yeah, you want to go internal injury and then you guarantee, like by playing this character, you basically guarantee you go first. It's kind of like more or less in her passive. However, she has like, I don't know what, like five, I think she has like four or five less base health than the other characters as a trade-off, which in my opinion is totally worth it to just guarantee that you go first in the late game. Kind of a big deal. Uh, so all in all, I can't, I just can't be mad. I, I really, really scraped that, uh, that together from the dirt. It was nothing. For a long time and then it was something kind of okay so top two we'll, we'll make it we'll make it happen uh i do i do think i deserve second for what it's worth i i beat this person and then i lost to them less i presume uh because i don't think my rearranged deck beats their ghosts interestingly enough that's a strategy to keep in mind like if you know for a fact you're not going to beat this person maybe you just build your deck as if they're fighting your ghost you know? That's an interesting strat that you have to keep in mind. Add it to the pile, I guess. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Oh, God. These ranked games are getting so sweaty. I I don't know. I don't know how much I'm going to like do ranked forever. Or maybe I'll just like tank my rank and play around in the goofy 2K. Like pre-2000 pre, pre 2000 ranks or something like that. I don't want to just, I don't want to have to sweat every day. I kind of want to vibe some days, you know? I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is it getting too sweaty for you or you, do you want the sweat? I just, it gets so split in the comments. Some people are like, don't play ranked, play silly builds. And then some people are like, just play ranked, normal stupid. But I don't know. It's, it's all so weird. It's all so weird. Alas, alas though, that's that. It's good to here for today. Thank you for watching. Check the channel for Indies and more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!